We are in the city of Novoshakhtinsk in Russia's Rostov region. A city, like the rest of the region, and very similar to the Ukrainian Donbass. Miners live here, and there is valuable coal anthracite under our feet. Every day, a bus arrives in this city, with the sign special transportation. This bus comes from Luhansk, and it carries Ukrainian citizens who come to get Russian citizenship. At 9.30 a.m., the bus stops by the building, covered with plastic, which is guarded by the National Guard of Russia. The inscription on the bus reads, Moscow, but it came from the occupied Luhansk. There are around 50 people inside. They all received the dream call a few days before. I applied on May 17 and got the call the day before yesterday, inviting us to go and get the coveted passport. <laughs> Daria was born and lives in Luhansk. She works as a masseuse in a local beauty salon. Thus, she dispels the myth that the military and the so-called administration were prioritized. In response to the question why she needs that Russian citizenship, she says, For me, it opens more doors in terms of employment, more opportunities to move and earn, to get some extra training. Once you get a passport, will you remain in Luhansk or move to Russia? I haven't decided yet. We will see. This group is accompanied by two men in civilian attire. They also give instructions as to whom we can film and whom not. We are not allowed to speak to the security forces and the so-called top authorities. They hide behind the bus. <laughs> Angelika and Veronika are sisters. They teach at a school in Luhansk. Today they are getting both the internal and foreign Russian passports. The so-called Luhansk People's Republic passports can't take them abroad. I'd quite like to go abroad. Before the war we went to the EU a lot, but in the past five years we haven't gone anywhere. An employee of the Ministry of Internal Affairs asks people to form a line and leads them into the building. They will be handed passports there. Russian anthem will be played and an oath-taking ceremony will take place. Journalists are not allowed inside. In half an hour, the first new citizens start to come out. How did it go? It went well, very positive and solemn atmosphere. The oath is beautiful, concise, clear, very warm words. We hear the anthem all the time during solemn events and in Russia, so we do know it. Now everybody has three passports, the Ukrainian, the unrecognized Luhansk People's Republic one and the Russian one. But which one to use? Ukraine says that the uncontrolled territories of Donbass need to be reintegrated. Will you make use of your Ukrainian passport in the future? Luhansk is closer to Russia. We are subordinate to the authorities in place. We accept and respect the decisions of our government. People say they didn't come in vain and they are in a festive mood. But they can't explain how exactly the passport will change their everyday life, except for the status they get. They know they can't expect pensions and social payments from Russia, nor housing. The registration page is left blank in the new passport. It is the new citizen's bother. As far as I know, according to the legislation, five days are given. But since we are citizens of the Luhansk People's Republic, we'll get more leeway. But I don't know how exactly and how much. The residents of Novoshakhtinsk, which is 20 kilometers away from the Ukrainian border, know of the initiative of the authorities to give residents of the occupied Donbass passports. But they are cautious with their words. They say, the authorities know better. There are no jobs in the city. Most of the mines closed down in 2003. Whatever, even if it's black people getting Russian passports, as long as there is no war. We have relatives in Ukraine, so let them work. Some people go to Magadan in Siberia because of this. People from the USSR are just as Russian as we are. They won't be allowed into Moscow or St. Petersburg. They won't go to Krasnodar. They will just all stay here and border territories will be occupied. We are from Luhansk ourselves. And did you try applying for citizenship? We tried, but do you know what the lines are like? There are 700 people in line for the Russian passport. There are currently two places issuing Russian passports for residents of the Donbass in Russia. The second one is in Pokrovskaya, also in the Rostov region. That is where the residents of the self-proclaimed Donetsk People's Republic are taken. The Migration Service of the Russian Federation says that there are already 12,000 applications in total.